Kenya has a population of approximately 46 million people with an urban population of 25% and an annual urban growth of 4.2%. From this urban population, 33% still live below the poverty line. Investment in network infrastructure is failing to keep up with the growing demand in urban areas generating a large sanitation infrastructure and services deficit. Pit latrines and septic tanks are often constructed below standards. Connection rate to sewers is low, therefore removal of the fecal sludge is to be done mechanically through the service of a private vacuum tanker. However, households in low-income areas often have to resort to unregulated manual emptying. Since treatment facilities are scarce, the fecal sludge usually ends up in rivers, lakes or bushes. The Constitution of Kenya 2010 lays down the framework for development of the sanitation sector which guarantee the right of every person to reasonable standards of sanitation and a clean and healthy environment. This is put into practice through a strong institutional structure where mandates and responsibilities are clearly defined. Policy formulation and regulation are addressed at a national level, whereas service provision is handled by the counties through regulated water utilities called water service providers. The Water Sector Trust Fund is a state corporation which supports the water service providers by financing the development and management of water and sanitation services in the underserved areas. We have a growing population, urban dwellers, uh, that uh, has a bigger population and is growing very fast. The role that Trust Fund plays is to look at those areas and make sure that as we are growing on the other side, we also don't leave behind these areas. The Water Sector Trust Fund initiated a nationwide intervention to improve access to household sanitation in low-income urban areas through a program called ABSA, Upscaling Basic Sanitation for the Urban Poor. The program is based on a scaling up approach and covers the entire sanitation service chain from toilet to treatment. This is how the ABSAP concept operates. Through effective social marketing from the water service provider, residents of low-income areas are encouraged to invest in sanitation by funding the construction of their own improved toilet and septic tank. When the toilet is completed, the staff from the water utility inspects the infrastructure to ensure that it complies with the required construction standards. Once it has been approved, the owner of the toilet receives from the water utility a post-construction incentive which represents approximately 50% of the construction cost. Icho aina inzi na naezambia majilani wangu wanjenge kama icho yangu. Private vacuum tankers are licensed by the water service provider to operate on its service area. When a septic tank needs emptying, the toilet owner calls the utility customer care, which liaises with one of the licensed vacuum tankers to ensure that emptying and transportation of the fecal sludge is taken care of. The advantages of this partnership are several. It guarantees rapid response for the customers, it provides continuous business to the private tankers and enables the water utility to monitor the service delivery. The water service provider put me in contact with many clients. With so many construction toilets, my business is doing good. To ensure completion of the sanitation service chain, ABSAP support the construction of a treatment facility run by the water service provider. This small-scale treatment plant is referred to as a Decentralized Treatment Facility, or DTF. The tariff for discharge is set by the water utility, taking into account parameters such as recovery of capital investment and running costs and affordability to the customers. The main objective of the DTF is to treat the fecal sludge and ensure safe disposal of the effluent into the environment. In some instances, when economically and socially relevant, the reuse aspect is considered. Dry sludge can produce soil conditioner or compost and the treated effluent is looked at as an alternative for irrigation. This waste is not treated, of course, it ends up in the crooked ways, in our storm drains, back into our rivers, and uh, therefore not doing good, uh, doing a lot of harm to our environment. But uh, when we have this facility, at least we are very sure that uh, our wastewater within our towns, from the septic tanks and the toilets, is treated. ABSAP's target is to provide sustainable sanitation for over 400,000 people. As of July 2017, ABSAP has been active in 23 towns in Kenya. 
It has triggered the construction of 9,700 improved toilets, has created business opportunities for numerous vacuum tankers, and has supported the completion of seven decentralized treatment facilities serving a total of 122,000 beneficiaries. ABSAP's keys of success are manifold. It is a demand-driven program built on the principle of the complete sanitation service chain. It promotes appropriate low-cost solutions for urban household sanitation based on a solid business model in the interest of sustainability. Last but not least, ABSAP is a national urban sanitation concept anchored in the Kenyan water sector institutions. To sustain the momentum towards meeting the universal sanitation objectives, ABSAP uses its experience and positive results to lobby for the sector and influence policies towards a clean and healthy environment for all.